your life is dictated by subsistence and by need and not really by want because usually what you want is is beyond what the boat is capable of providing so i'd say it is a very pure existence which kind of exists purely on on need and on kind of reduced consumption The canal feels like a kind of a sub-level of, of living. It, it almost feels like a different world and it's just kind of sitting amongst you know, London's infrastructure. I joined the Labour Club. I can remember the Labour Club being in London Road, the co-op which was the Labour Club then, but I'm going back about 50 years. Oh my good God, I'm old. I'm so peaceful and you. I don't like going in pubs, do you? Because you've got to look over your shoulder. In here, you don't get any of that. No, you you don't. feel safe. You know, it's like a big you family, can be, I suppose, and actually, you know everybody. You can be what you are in here, and everyone yeah, respects Yeah, it's fine, us. you can get away with it. Yeah. My wife passed away going, going on uh, three years ago. I miss her from being here with me. She was all the company I needed. I love it, my wife. I miss her. Because everything I do now, I got to do it on my own. She's a big help to me. Me and I got along with you. I was never, I wasn't a rough child. Um, I just like the gentler, softer things. And nothing too harsh. I knew I was different, but I realised it was something to keep hidden from the rest of the world. Well, I suppose that I would have been about 14 then, brushing my hair and feeling the soft, nice clothes and that sort of thing. I knew that wasn't normal, or what I perceived to be normal then. Well, I didn't have any friends that were girls at that age. I've got a brother who's 18 months older than me. I've always been known as uh, Penny Panagi. Well, my name was Peter before. Um, before I changed my name.